Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My sensitivity cup is in the way. Today we are finally starting to pack for our anniversary trip, which we are heading to Palm Springs for five days to just get out of town, relax, rest, enjoy, and honestly just have some time as a couple rejuvenating and celebrating our marriage. So let's go ahead and start packing. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Karina. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be starting to pack for our anniversary trip that my husband and I will be taking. And this is the first time that we'll be away from our kids for like an extended period of time. We've done overnights, especially with my son when he was younger at grandparents. My kids have both done an overnight with grandma and grandpa at this point, but this will be the first time that we're away for several days. So a little bit more about my channel. My husband and I love to travel and explore and share that with you guys and share how we take our two kiddos on vacation. I feel like vacationing with little kids can be really intimidating and it has been really helpful to, for me as a mom to be able to see how other people travel and get tips and ideas from other moms on YouTube. So I figured why not share myself? So. That is what my channel is about. And again, this is a anniversary like couples trip. <laughs> so no kiddos will be here, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna bring you guys along, not only through the packing process, but also on the journey of our trip. So we'll have like a travel day vlog. I'll show you guys around Palm Springs and show you what we get into while we're there and talk about all the things and you know why couples trips are important. So before we start with packing, I wanna tell you guys the bags that I'm gonna bring with me. I have been absolutely obsessed with my Poppy and Peonies Beach Bound Tote. And so, of course, this is coming with me. This is actually going to be my personal item for the plane. Um, I might give it a wash because it does have a little bit of like a stain here, kind of probably just from like water um, over this last week when we were at Great Wolf Lodge a few days ago. So I'm probably going to see about cleaning this a little bit clean it up just a smidge but this is going to be my personal item yeah because it's it needs a little bit of a clean so that's probably gonna be my personal item and then I'm also planning to bring this guy which is my on route sling the reason that I want to bring this is because this actually can fit a water bottle and I can wear it on my back da, 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 da. so I'm thinking if we end up doing things like a small hike or if we're just walking around downtown it might be more comfortable to have a sling on my back but I also would want to have like a water bottle with me because it's hot in Palm Springs we're going to the desert so that this would be useful to have and then also has plenty of space to hold all of my essentials in it um, so I think I'm gonna bring this guy and I'll probably also bring like a little um, like a clutch of some sort for if we go out like just to dinner and you know we're not doing a lot of exploring we're just kind of grabbing some food I can just have a little sling bag or fanny or clutch or something crossbody something like that um, with me for that and then the other thing is that I'm bringing my brand new carry-on so this little guy is from Amazon and I'm gonna show you guys the features of it all right, so here is my carry-on. It is from Amazon. I just need to peel this sticker off of it. But I thought I would show you guys the features of it and why I went with this. I think it's super cute, first of all. And it also has this little spot where you can plug in a USB charger on the inside, um, like a battery, backup battery, that's what I'm trying to say, um, on the inside and then have a cord so you can plug in to your suitcase. Um, I probably won't use that. I'll probably just use my portable charger a telescoping handle of course and it is the cutest little cotton candy pink color it does expand but I don't plan on using that but if you need to that is always there and let's take a look at the inside because this is what sold me Boop. okay guys this is really cool to me at least so you have a pocket down here you have a mesh pocket right up here and then of course your zippered section over here. But then on this side, you have these two little zippers. So this is where that battery pack would go. If you wanted to do that, you would just plug it in here and then you'd have a cord on the outside or to plug a cord in for your phone whenever you want to charge it. So that's there. There's also this small pocket. I have no idea what this would even be for. 
I'm like, uh, your toothbrush? I don't know, how many toiletries could you really even fit in there, you know? Um, so anyway, there's that pocket. But what was really cool is that is it has these built-in little packing cubes. So I love this. And you guys will see how I plan to use these, but I thought this was so cool because you pack them up and then obviously pack all your other things underneath and they stay kind of elevated, but they hold your stuff in on this side. So I think that's really fun. And honestly, just a cool little feature for a carry-on bag. So I will tell you guys, Ella thinks this is her bag, which it is not. She has her own carry-on suitcase, but she was very into this one. So poor little girl. She'll have to use her own. But anyway, this is Mama's. So I'm figuring for this side, I will either use these for like toiletry bags. I will use it for, um, to put like my, um, like swimsuits in one and like undies and socks and bras, all that stuff in another. Um, just a lot of different options, which I think is really cool. So that's the suitcase that I'm using and the bags that I will be taking with me. These also have the 360 spinner wheels which not all my luggage has, so that is actually kind of a cool feature for me right now. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm actually gonna bring on this trip. Okay, I'm gonna share with you guys the chaos I have happening right here, but what I want to say is that I'm having a little bit of a hard time packing because we have been planning for the last year that we were going to go to Hawaii and be in Maui. And when everything happened with the fires there, Number one, our hotel had to cancel our reservation due to the effect that um, the fires have had on the hotel. And so we had to pivot our vacation. And so for the last like year, I've had an idea of what I would pack or what I would want to wear and things that we were going, going to do while we were in Maui. And now all of that has gone out the window. We've never been to Palm Springs. So I'm trying to figure out like what I need, what I want to wear. Um, obviously, I know I want some things in case we do some exploring because there are really great areas there to explore and like get out in nature. Um, I know there's also really great restaurants and we'll be doing a lot of time just like lounging at the pool. So those are kind of the three things that I'm preparing for and like packing for, keeping in mind. So, but I also would say that I think it's a little bit more elevated, like upscale than how we do Hawaii. So when we do Hawaii, we're very casual and like comfortable and just like, you know, you can wear your swimsuit pretty much wherever, just throw a cover on up, a cover up on over it. And I don't think that's the case with Palm Springs. So uh, let me show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the mess I have happening and just remember things tend to get worse before they get better. Okay, so <laughs> here's our dresser. I'm like utilizing all of the knobs. <laughs> And then here's the bed. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff I had kind of a pretty good idea about, but some of the things I was planning to wear are like really kind of bright, colorful. I don't think that's wrong for Palm Springs. I think that's totally fine, but it just kind of is giving me like a different vibe, you know, than sunny, I don't know, just, I don't know, island time. So I'm debating bringing this cover up because hello, palm fronds. I actually love that. <laughs> so I have this one, but I'm trying to narrow down some swimwear. So my rule is to do like three pieces or three swim options. So I'm thinking heavily about the black. I already have one black top. So I might throw these in the mix to go with that black top. I also have this, which I really like, this is a fun top. And then I have another set that I just got, um, but I need to figure out what kind of bottoms to go with this, if I do that at all. It's just a little bit of insight into how my brain is working. Let me kind of narrow things down and then I'll talk to you guys about what I have as far as options. Okay guys, I was originally not having this bikini on the plan. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna add it. I really like it and I think it's nice for a good little pop of color. I do wish, you okay? Okay. I wish I had bottoms that were like a coral color because there is some coral in here. That would be really pretty. But these came with a solid bottom. Let me show you, it was actually not these ones. They came with this light green, 
and these are kind of like a little bit higher waisted than I would like. They kind of hit me in a funny spot. So I think I'm going to do these like lower, kind of lower bikini style um, for this guy. And then I think that's going to narrow it down for, we're going to round it out, I should say, for bikinis. So I'm going to do three options. I'll show you guys those. But I think we're getting there. I'm going to pare down real quick. <laughs> we're almost Okay, let's talk about another little bit of a dilemma. I was planning on having some swimwear that matched or coordinated with this kimono. And so I was planning to wear this outfit on the plane. I'll probably still do that. But I was thinking of doing this as like my little layer for on the plane because I always get cold on flights no matter what. But then I'll get hot, so I want to take it off. So I was thinking of doing this on the plane, but if I don't have anything that really coordinates with this well, I can't bring it. It's not going to be able to go, but it might be okay. I do have a lot of black pieces that I pulled out as options, <laughs> but do I just want to bring this to go with black outfits? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay guys, let's talk about my options. So right here I have a little athleisure outfit to wear that will either be like just a hangout athleisure day or for on the plane or something like that. And then I go into my dresses because I love a dress. It's my favorite thing to wear. It's easy to throw on over a bikini. It's easy to just throw on anytime <laughs> and you get some nice ventilation. So I have this little black one that's strapless. I have this green one that's kind of a spaghetti strap and a little bit of a ruffle. This is a very, very short <laughs> dress, I will say. So I have to kind of be cautious with this one, but it's good for dates on vacation, I guess. Um, and then I have this rust one that has these really cool, fun little sleeves, some ruching, and then a um, little ruffle here. This guy is a romper. Love this. It's like a linen material. Um, I thought that'd be really cute for just kind of going out, exploring the town, walking around, that kind of stuff. Something a little cute but casual. And then this little dress I have also has the same kind of um, halter neck but it's like a crepe sort of a fabric and then it has a um, like a handkerchief hem. So it kind of like, you know, cuts up and down basically on the, on the hem and it does have pockets. So I love this one. <laughs> this dress I actually bought, I think this spring specifically for our anniversary trip. So it is, has been earmarked for this trip specifically. And then I do have this little outfit that I plan to wear on the plane, like I mentioned with my little kimono. So hopefully you guys can see what I was saying about this kimono I think it will work like I think it actually goes with a lot more than I was thinking it does um, as far as layering but I also have a second kimono which is right up here so I have this guy that I just got for a machine and I love it and also this bikini which has some ruffles you guys can tell I'm a sucker for ruffles <laughs> most everything has a ruffle um, this black bikini which just a good black basic kind of staple and then that cute little palm tree one that I showed you guys a little bit ago with the dark green bottoms. And I have a couple hats that I'm going to bring. So I am just now getting back into hats post, you know, like being a toddler. <laughs> so I have this one that I picked up at Ross and I'm going to bring it. And then I also have this sun hat. This one rolls up. So that's really easy and compact for travel. So I'll probably just keep that in our, um, little pull bag while we're there so I can throw it on when I want to. I think that's going to be good. I do need to grab some workout clothes options, pajamas, undies, that kind of stuff. But I think for clothes, I think this will be good. I'm so nervous. How many outfits do I have? So I have one kind of athletic outfit, but let's talk about one, two, three, four, and then a nice little like going out dress. That's probably plenty, but I'm trying to think what we're going to do during the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking at least one day we'll have like an in-town kind of hangout, explore downtown Palm Springs day. So that will be the black romper with either one of the kimonos just for a little cover. I will have the plain outfit, which I'll wear that first day that we arrive. So that's one day and two day. Um, we're definitely going to have a full like pool only day pretty much just like hanging out at the resort going to the pool going to the spa um that kind of a thing so that will be one day as well 
and then I would love to do like a hike um, maybe not a hike exactly but kind of like explore a little bit further and get out and kind of do some of the nature stuff so that's for the like athleisure outfit other than that I think it's gonna be a lot of pool time and then like throwing on a cute dress for grabbing some food some brunch or dinner or something like that so I feel like I'm gonna be okay I will probably just because this is who I am I'll probably throw in an extra like oversized tee because I don't have any t-shirts right now <laughs> a tee and some shorts that I can put on over one of my swimsuit options so if we're say gonna go grab some breakfast and then hit the pool I could wear that to go have breakfast and then just take it off to get in the pool so I'm gonna grab a couple more items and that'll be good I'm kind of packing a lot because like I said it's definitely different than I was planning to pack for Hawaii but I feel like this will cover all my bases pretty well um, the only thing I am thinking about is another layer like a jean jacket or like a moto jacket or something like that I'm burning up I thought summer was supposed to be ending <sighs> okay so I'm thinking about like a kind of heavier layer like a jean jacket or a moto jacket something along those lines that I'll probably throw in also okay update I have a sidekick hanging out over there in the chair <laughs> on the other side but I added a little oversized tee that I can throw on if I need to Okay, I also added in this blue romper. This is my maybe piece, okay. It might go, it might not, we'll see. But then I also have a couple of workout outfits. They're all black, just because I figured that would be easy. So I've got um, two sports bras. This is one with this cool little back, lattice back. And then this one, this is like a long line, kind of crop top, top almost. Uh, the strappy back and then two pairs of biker shorts I went with biker shorts rather than my regular workout shorts because my regular ones have a band right up here and, which may, helps them stay up during my workouts but it definitely gives me like muffin top you know um, I don't need help with that so and then I did one set of jammies I think that will be plenty because we'll be in the water so much that I'm going to take a shower before I get in bed um, so I only am gonna bring one set I know a lot of people freak out about that but that's just how I'm gonna roll and then I threw in an extra swim cover-up too this black and white striped one that will go with everything so this feels like a lot of options now kind of too much but we'll see how I feel once I start packing everything up so wish me luck all right you guys it's been several hours but I'm back to kind of get my clothes all packed away just so that I can clear off the bed <laughs> so that we can go to sleep in a few hours here. So let me show you guys where I've gotten and a couple updates. All right guys, so first of all, I wanted to go over the shoes that I'm going to bring. So I have these brown sandals that I'm going to pack and I'm gonna pack tennis shoes. Now, normally you want to wear the bulkiest pair of shoes that you have. However, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I don't like wearing tennis shoes on an airplane. I prefer to wear sandals and like bring socks. So I'm going to put these in the bag right here and show that to you. All right, continuing on, I decided to take out one of the athletic uh, or workout outfits. So I pulled out this one. I might change my mind on that. We'll see how things end up. And then I did take out this blue romper. I'm just on the fence about this. So... Yeah, I don't think it needs to come, honestly. <laughs> we'll see. Those two outfits are out for right now. And then let me show you guys how I have things situated at the moment. So this side is where I'm putting my clothes and I did two packing cubes. So it's a little bit over what I would like probably, but I like a lot of swim options. So I tuck my PJs right here in the side because they're pretty bulky and they wouldn't fit in one cube with everything else. So this is um, the workout outfit, and then I have this, um, this is the strapless, like, black dress, and then everything else, and this is also an athleisure outfit for if we do an active day. So all of the clothes are right here. I'm still worried this is not quite enough. This will be for if we go out and, like, explore town, and then one, two, three dresses, four, I guess, four dress options for dinners, which is plenty. We have four nights. 
and then our travel day. So I think it should be fine. One workout outfit, that's not gonna be enough for me, I already know, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll survive, it's a week of vacation. I can rinse it out in the sink. Um, and then here's my swimwear, as well as two cover-ups, a t-shirt, which I might pull this out too. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna need it, honestly. I feel like if we're lounging around or like hanging out, we're gonna be out by the pool. And that will probably be the, you know, the majority of the time. I think the only time we would probably lounge around like outside is maybe in the evening one day. I don't know, maybe I would want something comfy for that. <sighs> but I might do something else instead of this actually. I might do, I have a little, um, I have a little lounge set that I got recently. It's yellow and it's really cute. I like it a lot, but it would go really nicely with this kimono. So I could wear that if I wanted to for a lounge option. So I might throw that in here because that's a whole second out or another outfit instead. So I'm gonna look at that. This looks like it's not gonna fit, but I promise it does. <laughs> I just opened the packing cubes to show you guys. Then over here, I put my undergarments right here. And then this is just a sample of my toiletries. So this is my little toiletry case from our Great Wolf Lodge trip. I just have not unpacked it. I figured I would leave it. So I need to separate out what's liquid versus solid, like, you know, toothbrush and floss are not liquid, so they don't need to be in here. And I'll get a second small cosmetic bag for anything that's solid, as well as like any makeup items. I'll, you know, fit into whichever one it needs to go to. And then underneath here, I just have the bag of shoes. So I have a pair of tinnies, a pair of sandals. I wish I had a smaller shoe bag, but my tennis shoes would not fit in my small shoe bag. So there's that. I also do have my rolled up hat that I need to tuck in here. And then the other thing that will go in here will be hair accessories. So I usually use a flat iron and a curling iron, just like interchangeably depending on how I want to do my hair. So those will go in this bag. But for the most part, that's packed. And then I do want to bring some books. So some of these will come into, actually probably all of these will go in my carry-on. Um, and then I'll probably just bring maybe my Bible in my actual, um, like personal item bag. Oop. Okay. Plenty of room for the hair tools. And I think that goes pretty well. So that's what I'm looking at. The only thing I need to figure out is the hat. <laughs> I know some people will pack up items in the hat like this in here and then stick it in. I would do that. My only option though is this space right here. So I don't know if that would actually work. Actually it might. I would just kind of have to tuck these edges in, huh? And kind of put the hair tools under here. That could work. By golly, that just might work. <laughs> okay, she may get a little smushed, honestly, but yeah, she may get a little smushed. Worst comes to worst, I will either wear it or I will just clip it on the side of my bag, which is a little travel hack that I have seen because I do want to bring this. I just think it's okay. cute. Let me see. I'll grab that yellow lounge set, add that in here, and then I'll have to work on toiletries. And I will add the heat tools in right before we leave. So either that morning or the night before, I'll throw the heat tools in and I'll figure out the book situation. I'm going to keep my personal item packing for a separate video because number one, my beach bag is now drying. <laughs> so I wanna show you guys what I'm going to actually pack in that um, for the plane and also what I might still need that I haven't put in here, like my tech stuff. There's plenty of room to put a little tech bag, not a little one, like just a normal size tech bag in here. But since I will have the personal item, I'll probably just put it in there so I don't have to worry about it. Or I have room, maybe I'll just put it in here too. Let me show you. Okay guys, another Amazon find. This is my tech bag. So whatever I bring for tech will fit in here. Um, and I can just easily pull up this guy right in here. The only thing that I may put in my personal bag, just depends on how I feel as we get closer to the trip. I might bring my laptop just for some downtime, but I might just leave it at home. I may just say forget it and not worry about it. Um, but there you go. So tech bag easily fits in there, plenty of room. 
And again, I'm going to put some more toiletries right in here. This is nice because it'll be easy to grab this out if they need it for TSA. They probably won't because we have pre-check, so it should be fine, but it's right here on top. And yeah, I still have plenty of room in here. So I'm really happy about this. And like I said, I'm going to swap out that little jump, um, that little lounge set just because I started thinking, you know what, there's like fire pits and stuff. So it might be nice to just lounge out there at night. So I'll grab that, but that's about it.